had. And so I'm going to bring them up, and we're going to talk a little bit about Hollywood. We're going to talk a lot about the business we all were engaged in. So we'll have a couple frivolous moments, and then we'll get serious. So let me welcome Walter Robbie Robinson, who is played by Michael Keaton. Come on up and have a seat. Sasha, Sasha Pfeiffer, who is played by Rachel McAdams. And Mike Resendez, who is played by Mark Ruffalo. Okay, we'll pretend at first this is like uh, a, a, one of those access shows like Access Hollywood. So for two minutes, we'll, we'll sort of bask in the reflected glory of your uh, celebrityhood. And I'll ask, I guess with three people to answer questions, I'll ask each of you to give brief answers to the questions, unless one of you doesn't want to answer. But I'll start with this one. I'd just like to know um, what, it, what, it's, what it's been like to go from the real tough, hard work of investigative reporting, which won you the, the Pulitzer, a big award, but then turned you guys into celebrities who are being jetted off to Paris and other places and the Academy Awards to, to hang out with these, with these movie stars. Mike, first. Well, the tough, hard work of investigative reporting goes on. Uh, I'm still on the Globe Spotlight team. I'm in the middle of a big project, and I know my colleagues are dying for me to get back home and back to my desk specifically. So it's been a, it's been a great honor uh, to have these uh, awards and this sort of acknowledgement, and it's been uh, wonderful to be able to spread the message about the importance of investigative reporting and the importance of keeping public attention focused on the issue of clergy sex abuse. That's the main reason we go to these events. But as I said, the, uh, the work of investigative reporting uh, at the Boston Globe uh, goes on and uh, it will go on. And Sasha, Rachel's taking you around with her as kind of like you've been a companion. What's that like? I mean, to go from a, from a, from a tough newsroom to the Hollywood scene. I mean, I think a lot of us have approached it like reporters. I mean, one of the fun things about our jobs is that we get access to interesting people and places. And I think, I feel like that's happened again. We've sort of been able to see behind the curtain of a pretty interesting place and gotten a pretty fascinating look at that industry. But I think, I think we always felt like we viewed it as observers, you know? I mean, it was an interesting glimpse of an interesting world. Robbie? Michael well, Keaton, that's no, no slouch guy playing you. Uh, I, you know, I'm still, amazed that they found one of the few people in Hollywood to play me who has less hair than I do. Uh, but yeah, it's been a, it's been a, it's been a great experience. Uh, uh, Michael uh, had been my, uh, one of my favorite actors because uh, he played the uh, Metro editor in the movie The Paper. It's one of my great favorites. He, he also was an altar boy and he studied uh, journalism uh, at uh, Kent State until he had the good uh, sense to drop out and try uh, Hollywood. So it's been a, it's been a great experience uh, for all of us for the reasons that, uh, that uh, Mike mentioned, uh, you know, to talk about the importance of investigative journalism, uh, to keep the uh, spotlight uh, on the Catholic Church uh, and what it promised to do as opposed to what it actually has done. Was it relatively accurate? Did it portray what you all went through, did, and how, and, and the, what, the who, what, where, when, why? Did it do a good job of that? Yeah. Uh, uh, Josh Singer, the screenwriter, and Tom McCarthy, the director, uh, spent uh, weeks and weeks and weeks interrogating us about our investigation, and they wanted to get the story right, and, and they did. Uh, how we did our work, uh, as compressed as it was, the characters involved, uh, they really, there's, there's uh, a sense of authenticity to this film uh, that really captures what was done. I think Tom McCarthy and Josh Singer, as Robbie said, get a lot of credit for that. They were determined to produce an authentic work. They were really taken with our story. They were taken with the investigation and they made it real. And to our great shock and surprise, uh, it worked, and it, and it sold, and it won Academy Awards. I mean, we never believed this was going to make a good movie when we were first approached, never. I mean, I think our reaction generally was, you mean, you want to make a movie about a bunch of shabbily dressed reporters who sit around the, a dingy office all day and read musty court documents? Well, good luck to you. <laughs> and same, same feeling, Sasha? Yeah, Sasha? I mean, you know, they, they spent extensive amount of time interviewing us 
when they wrote a script, they had us read it word for word to see if anything was inaccurate or sounded inauthentic. They invited us to be on set as much as we wanted. And I assume that meant stay on the edges, keep quiet. No, it meant duck when cameras go by and tell us if this sounds false. I was telling someone tonight that there's a scene in the movie where John Slattery, who plays the Ben Bradley Jr. character, shows up at the house of Mike Resendiz, played by Mark Ruffalo, with a pizza. In the original script, it was a pizza and a bottle of Jameson's. Now, for a lot of reporters, that's just a cliche of sort of the hard-drinking reporter. And when we told them that, they removed the Jameson's. So it seems little, but if you, if you make those changes collectively over the course of a movie, it rings more authentic and more true to real reporters. Okay, this last one of these is a softball question. Scale of one to 10, the level of shock that it won Best Picture. 11. <laughs> Mike? Uh, 13. <laughs> Robbie. 104. <laughs> All right.